So my name is uh, Xiao Yang. I'm working with Tamlin Pawlowski uh, at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. Today, I'm excited to present you our progress in developing a multi-temporal river width data sets from using the Google Earth Engine. So the rivers um, can provide us with a lot of useful resources, but at the same time, it also contributes to a lot of the um, devastating hazards. Despite the urgency to understand the river behaviors, especially nowadays in the changing environment, uh, our knowledge of the river dynamics is globally is strongly limited by the um, especially disconnected uh, data we get from the stream gauges. Uh, from this map, we can see that most of the world is, does not have active gauge uh, information. So in order to fill the gaps of these um, gauges and also uh, develop a globally consistent view of the river dynamics, uh, our group is working on uh, ways to try to monitor the river from the satellite images. So the recent uh, discovery of a new uh, hydraulic geometry relationship uh, enable us to potentially estimate the river discharge, the absolute river discharge from space using repeated uh, width measurements from the optical images. Uh, also from our group that we have developed a river, a global river width uh, from NASA data sets, it's called Graal. And it has uh, the centerline locations of the rivers and its uh, mean annual and, and the width measurements at its uh, annual mean discharge. So think of this as a snapshot of global rivers as mean status. But in order to understand the dynamics of the river and see, like potentially estimate the discharge of these rivers, we were working on developing a multi-temporal version uh, of the river, river width database. Uh, we are developing our algorithm in the Google Earth Engine. Uh, so, so far we will be able to extract the river from the water mask using uh, the graal database center lines. Uh, we will be able to uh, drive the center lines and also make uh, width measurements at each of the center line location. And just to show, uh, quickly show you the, the first results we get comparing to the in situ data uh, from 416 uh, gauges uh, in the United States. So upon the completion of this project, we may be able to reconstruct the discharge history uh, globally uh, for the duration of the NASA mission and potentially measure the uh, discharge uh, in real time from space. Thank you. There, there is a tool called River Width that was developed by Tamlin Pawelski, right? Is uh, yes. the script on Earth Engine uh, implementation of that, or is it different? Uh, so. The, the Rift Width program was written in IDL. So what we're trying to do in the Google Earth Engine is uh, we're trying to make a version of it. But when we're doing that, we realize that we can't actually replicate every step because of the, the, the design of the system is so different. So sometimes we have to come up uh, with a totally different approach in order to, for it to work uh, efficiently on the Google Earth Engine. Uh, which data, you, oh, you mean these data sets? Yeah, this has not been published yet, but uh, we're preparing to publish this um, uh, this year. So it'll be available um, once upon its publication, yeah. Oh, by the way, um, right now we have the North American uh, version of these data sets available. It's already published two years ago, or three years ago, yeah. 